Today's episode takes place in Highland Park, a city within Detroit that holds the same tragic past of a fast-growing empire, only created by the automotive industry. Now, it has fell to ruins and has been left behind. Blocks upon blocks are dedicated to abandoned hospitals, colleges, high schools, houses, and apartment complexes. Join us on Abandoned Michigan as we discover and unlock secrets of the Highland Park High School and Junior College. Ooh. Oh, water. Oh. Guys coming? <laughs> yeah, it does get pretty cold in this place. Now, as a starter, this is my second time visiting this location. The first exploration of this place ended with a half-dead camera battery and cops investigating my vehicle outside the building. Luckily, no ticket was issued, so now, with the new parking location, a crew behind me, and of course, a little knowledge of the building's layout. The adventure begins. Yeah, well, once we get to the next level, we'll be fine. You know what I mean? Why are we bringing that? Yeah. I can feel like we have to throw in the master. Yeah, be careful. There's, it's like flooded. Some ice all over the place. What? Yeah, I'm recording. Everything is frozen in time. Get yeah. it? Get it? <laughs> You're so funny. I will fuck you up. <laughs> well, I'll break your leg and leave your ass. <laughs> no, he's not at home. Alright, you guys want to go up? Go up here? Yeah, it closed, uh, closed in the early 2000s. It was a college. Half of it is a high school. Um, that area that we went into last time with the big garden, that was the divider between the two areas. I'm glad we went earlier in the day because last time it just... Yeah, it was getting dark and my battery was dying. Wow. I don't think that was. David, no funny business. See, once again, I just love how they, like these schools have all these detail and into the walls, like the carvings. You guys haven't seen shit yet. No. We're gonna walk down this hallway. This here is the divider between the, the high school and the uh, college. Hey, what's this? Oh, it looks like a bell. It's the thing that opens the door, closes it automatically. This is so cool. I, I've actually never like seen ice like form inside of a building before. So mm -hmm. Well, looks like we're not going to stealth. What do you mean? Trying to fly it or something? Good running water. Yeah. It's all dripping. This is fucking cool. It's a cool view, isn't it? Look, David is, David is in awe and shock. He's just taking in the view. Because well, really of the snow. Yeah. Abandoned building or? It was like outside of one. See, there's still leftover art here. At least it looks like it used to be art of some kind. And then you 
got that weird black tower thing, which I have no idea what that's for. And the elevator over here. But look at all this natural lighting coming in from the, the roof. Now, as we enter this space, we were quite unsure as to the purpose of it. Later on, though, as I did my research, I came to find out that at some point, at some time, it was a gym. But unfortunately, it caught fire and was later repurposed as a performing arts center for the college. I just slipped. <laughs> so this is the spot where we came in through. I'm in. Oh, we just, yeah. oh, we just came, yeah, we came down from over here. So this is the... So we just wrapped around. The basement's right underneath us. So this is separates the high school from the college right now? I don't know which side we're on. I think this is the high school side. Because this is the really behind. Huh? Yeah, we know. <laughs> no, we'll, we'll be fine. <laughs> of course, as time has gone on and more people have come through, it no longer looks like what it used to. I don't know. The detail, like, I don't even know what kind of style of, like, the wall. It's not smooth, but it has, like, a nice bumpy texture to it. It's cool. Like a wavy, wavy texture. Yeah, down there's the pool. That's actually the locker room down there, but. You went through there, that's where the theater is over there. Well, it's like a classroom, I yeah. think. Like Probably for like an acting class. It's so much warmer than it was last time. <laughs> yeah, the stage is right up here. I feel like this is new. I don't remember this. What? The graffiti? Yeah, this. I don't know. I think it was here. I don't know. It was kind of a while ago. Oh, yeah. Jump in. Yeah. Jump onto it. Honestly, it would be like every horror movie ever. It literally is not that hard. Oh, look at the snow. Look at the snow falling too. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. I mean, I would like to come to a random place at night. We did with uh, Courtney and the. There's a gymnasium. It's so hard to see. Nope, not at all. Can you see it? Barely. The lighting's so low in here. There's like no windows at all. But we're walking on the racetrack, I believe. And then there's a track right above. So echoey. How short were people? Yeah, I know. So I just... couldn't walk through here. My work beanie just got canceled. Your what? My work beanie. Your work beanie? Yeah. Got canceled? Yeah. I don't know what work beanie is. What's work beating? Oh, I don't know. Oh, work meeting. Oh, do you not need the feedback by a certain time? No. Oh, I thought that. just canceled it to four. I thought that was a con. I know, I thought that was a con too. I was looking at like. So you guys zoomed in on it? Yeah. <laughs> it's all audi the audience loves it, you know? All right. Ladies it's comedy. Fuck you. Okay. Yeah, this is the fun stairway. You guys want to go down? Yeah. All right. Or do you want to go up? Well, going up just leads to the se uh, second, well, third level of, of the gym. Well, that one's right? All right. We can go up and then we can come back down. I always love going first. Be careful. There's a lot of ice build up and... Brandy, if I die, it's on you. Hey. <laughs> you're the one that wanted to come along. <laughs> Like, yeah, sorry, mom, uh, justice isn't coming home. <laughs> hey, on the right side, you don't have to talk to me, 
I hate how slanted this is. Um, this would look really fucking cool to skate in, though. Yeah. Wonder, is this for running? Like either roller skates or fucking my door. Yeah, it's gonna be so much shit. That's not creepy at all. <gasps> yeah, why is this so slanted? I don't, I don't get it. Is this just like. Good job. <laughs> Ethan falls through the floor. <laughs> It was like, look. You can see the trail of uh, the water going down. It's like a, it was like a little waterfall. You see that? Okay, so what is this? I don't know. I don't know if it leads no, down to the look. what? Yeah, this is where the water was at. This where it's trailing. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Bottom superior. floor. Doctor Superior guys. Just to I just want to know, because we keep looking places. Dude, this light on this camera is so nice. I've never had so much, like, ability to see. With the camera. So nice. Size. I have to like shuffle. Great. More ice, guys. Yeah. Why do you like taking the icy stairs so much? Where's the cow? Oh, sorry. This is brushing this pool. My bad. Oh. Is that the pool? Huh? Oh, here's the pool. Now, as our exploration continues, we come across the pool which actually happens to be underneath the Performing Arts Center. And it's worth noting that later in my research, I came to find out that not only was the school very well known for its education and the amount of diverse uh, school subjects that it had, but also for the fact that it used to train swimmers for state championships within Michigan. Of course, as time has gone on within Highland Park, such opportunities are no longer available. Oh, fuck no. I thought about it. I thought about it. I like, all the way over there. I'll stand on it over here. One of the guys that I watch on YouTube did that. Did it, it break? It, no, it didn't. Oh, does, does it look broken? Yeah, it doesn't look I think it should be sturdy. Oh, Randy, be careful. Hey, like, I die. <laughs> this is it. Oh, my. Randy. Randy. Randy oh, I can't watch you. <laughs> These things are so sturdy. I say that I die. <laughs> yeah. Think... Okay, I heard crack. I heard crack. No, it was just a shuffle of, uh, you know. <laughs> Hurry, Justin, before it falls apart. <laughs> What into the pool? Yeah. Sure. I've already stood at the edge of a diving board. I might as well test out the stairs. 
Hey, there. there's a free vet pack. You want a camera bag, Ethan? All right, let's see how sturdy this thing is. It looks a little. Oh man, that's that's shaky. Woo! It's okay. There's a broken, there's a broken chair to make sure we don't fall. Yeah, you could climb out if you wanted. Dave, I just stay up here and play it. That pack. Oh boy. Fuck. What are you doing? <laughs> nah, I'm gonna take the long way up. I'll be over in a second, Justice. Yeah, I know. How is your boot stuck? I needed on? one of you down here to push this away. Oh. No, someone come back down. To push what away? This part, because it moves, uh, so my boot can get out. Yeah, give me a second. <laughs> Get David. I mean Randy. To get up, I had to put my feet behind, and then so I got shot. Hi, David. Hello. You got sand in my room. You got what? Sand in my room. Oh. All right. So what the fuck did this? What broke the window? Oh. Looks like frisbee. Yeah. A frisbee. I'm dead serious. That weighs a thousand pounds? What do you think a plastic frisbee would be? You think it's an axe or some shit? Yes! Okay. That's exactly what I'm thinking of. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, you guys wanna go upstairs or? What's down here? You can go down here. Yeah. Oh shit! This looks fun. This looks like we're about to die. Classrooms. Yeah, I know. Hey, look, iPhone fever number five. Ethan. <laughs> I like this room. It looks like a uh, like a like a a courtroom. It's a conference room, that's what the sign above the window says. Oh, water just tripped on me. Gross. <laughs> but yeah, it looks it looks like Where a tripping room. Okay, tripping room here. See it's like a little mini courtroom. This wasn't here last time. But if it was. Oh yeah, the piano. Ethan, remember the scene in Blade Runner where uh, Ryan Gosling plays the piano and Harrison Ford appears out of nowhere? Well, that bracket looks like it held like a, a box TV or something. Uh, well, no, no, maybe some no. 
That that could be as early as like 2005, though. Yeah, you have to remember the place closed down in the early 2000s, so it's not, all that old. it's not old, but I'm sure that they had a lot it's older equipment. Really old. Yeah. Well, there's a record player. Yeah, that was there last time. Headshot. <gasps> Ooh. Or head start. I don't know what the fuck this is. Probably head start. Be sure this door is locked when you leave. Sure thing. <laughs> If you stop somewhere for us to get us food. <laughs> oh, this is cool. I just want you to know. Oh, are these photographs? Yeah. Or negative? They are. Yeah. It, it's a projector, old projector. That's where they used to put the slots into, and then. Trying to put this on this. Oh, you guys hear that? Oh yeah, that's true. I don't hear anyone walking though. Did we go into the place where it says help? Oh look. There's like a small draft in here. Oh, I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind the uh, open door over there. I think it was a science classroom. This used that these they they use them for gas to to light. I think There's little handles over here. Hey, look, there's a tiger in here. <laughs> oh, whoa, that's pretty cool. There's construction going on nearby. That's where that sound was coming from. Going up these stairs. <laughs> Wait, sorry. Looking down. Oh, stop! It's not even that high. I like heights. It's just I don't look down. I'm not scared of heights. As Over as there is the abandoned hospital. Over there is been over there a few times. Where haunted. I think I've accidentally overcome my fear of heights. Hey, do you think we went to the Grand Canyon? No. That's where my photography started. Nice. Okay. Inspiration. I got off the edge of it and I was like, I need a better camera. <laughs> Holy shit. It's like a science classroom. Dude, we could just jump from here there. Oh yeah, cool. Yeah, you, you know what, Ethan? I'll watch. <laughs> I'll let oh. you go first to show me the way. <laughs> yeah, same. That's pretty cool. Wait, was this? It looks like a caf it's a cafeteria. Somebody wants us to fuck off though, so I think we should <laughs> School's yeah. out! This is where all the, this is where the fall, uh, food Don't used to be. QR code, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Randy. What? Subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys. You would do that. Tape up your YouTube. Oh, yeah. Oh. Anything interesting in there, David? Or is it just kitchen, kitchen equipment? Yeah, so I thought. I think they look like cool and those look like two Yeah. Is that it? Is that it? Ethan. <laughs> that's a really cool here. Wow. Say hi, Ethan. Really? All the construction over there. Oh, okay. Abandoned hospital that's haunted. Look at all the dust on David's jacket. We're all gonna get lung cancer. Yep, this is the backstage area. Ow. Trying 
Try not to trip, Justice. Huh? So try not to trip. Uh, they're yellow? No. They're all right-handed. I'm left-handed. Well, before, uh, left-handed wasn't allowed in schools. Yeah, I was, I was considered. I remember my mom telling me about that. What do you need some of these? No, they're all not. I thought this one was When I took my SATs, all the left-handed kids had to sit on one side of the class, yeah. not the right hand. I sit on the other side. Yeah, it's Two bloody. Travel through there. Yeah, might as well. I'm already walking in it. Randy Moss. That's a football player, by the way. Cool. Randy Moss, one of the best players in the game. I don't know why I just told that. What's in here? Make a walk. David? Oh. I took mine off for a second. Bunch of desks. Yeah. I think we should walk through there. You want to walk through there? I don't really think there would be anything spectacular, but. Oh. Open floor plan, I like it. Watch out for these. I like seeing all these really old heaters. The metal ones that they... You know, we didn't have any heat in my house in Albany, so my dad had a kerosene heater that you bring up from the garage and put gasoline in there. Uh -huh. So that, that would warm up my house. <laughs> yeah, we didn't have... All right, and the adventure continues. Bunch of chairs. The main two things that I just want to find now are the auto body body shop and uh, yeah, the theater. Because the auto body, auto body shop, sorry, it's getting cold, so my tongue is like, uh, but it has a mechanical arm, you know, the kind that they put on assembly line and, and like GM plants. That's pretty cool, lady. What? Kind of cinematic in a way. Oh. Turn off the light. Okay. <laughs> well, we've found the theater. I'm behind the stage right now. Old piano. <laughs> I'm gonna try and go under the stage. Usually, <clears throat> usually there's a place to walk. Yep, here we go. Down stage. Wish me the best of luck. I'm all by myself at the moment. Everyone else is off doing the little thing over in the seating. Yeah, back doors over here, and then under the stage, some ice. This is pure, it's like silence. Kind of hate it. I 
know if this is really technically uh yeah this is just a bunch more classrooms what's this it's like old hospital room it is yeah they got some nursing beds back there gonna turn back explore this when I have people with me I hate how silent it is it's the worst part about urban exploring by yourself is it just gets quiet and it's just a weird awkward silence that just makes you uncomfortable but uh going back up yeah, do yourselves a favor, do not go down into the basement under the stage by yourself. Why? It's super, like as soon as you go down there, it like, the sound just stops. Drew, that's my fault, okay, so Now, although it's not as impressive as a Cooley High School auditorium, which has absolutely beautiful hand carvings, it's still just outstanding to see such detail placed into just a school auditorium in general. I mean, with modern architecture taking over, it's, I mean, many buildings consist of plain white walls and hard edges, no longer making it an art piece, but rather a blank canvas that has no purpose. Definitely not as grand as the grand ballroom in the Lee Plaza and the um, the Cooley High School where they had hand carvings all over the wall um, as you can tell there's there's still some detail in the wood in some of the chairs but it's very just a little bit more modern See that there's like a worn out teal. Looks like they painted over yeah, they painted over it with yellow, but of course it's starting to peel away, so because I could see the light <laughs> right there, and I was like, fuck no! No, not you! Down there! And I was like, yeah. Are you trying to move the curtains? Hey, I did this in stage draft. Is it working? Oh. The whole thing collapses on me. Oh my god. Oh! Oh! <laughs> it's just trying to take me out, dude. <laughs> yeah, I'm just waiting for something to just come collapse and <laughs> that's it. Wow. All the seating over here is a lot older and outdated compared to the upstairs. Hey, I found the projector. Ethan, I found the projector. Hey. Boobs count your days. That's what the scissor. <coughs> Boobs count your days. Boobs? Boobs. Cool. Boobs. It's either a projector or it has, I mean, it has volume and tone on there, so it might be, uh, well, here. Victor and, and McGrath Corporation. Yeah, it, it has lamp option on there, so it's a projector. Oh, yeah, it says sound projector.
So, if this is a projector, was it just sit, like sitting in the middle of the room since it's not even a projector room or? Probably. Or maybe it was up more. I don't know. I thought you just holding a chair. Why? Because I have to hear it all like everywhere, guys. And so now I don't like this. I hate this. Ugh. I like your thinking with the right. Oh! oh. No. You okay? You good? Yeah! Dude, you hit hard. <laughs> Sit around. You fucking broke the stairs. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, you okay? Yeah! Bruise, I can tell you that. Yeah. Dude, I, I heard that thump on that. Bird. I ran out of the way. I wasn't gonna be taken out either. <laughs> I tried to stop myself so I didn't take you out. I okay. Well, right look, you got a mattress in case you fall. Thanks. But here's like, there's like no sound in here. I don't. <laughs> yeah. Look, CPR. So, this was like the hospital room. I heard a thump. I think it's a thump. Hey, I found where the little thing came from. What little things? Oh, the vi are they vials? That's gross. I was scared the shit out of me. I was like, yo. <laughs> Pregnancy test, yeah. Any of them positive? They're all negative. <laughs> that one unlucky girl who has a positive hey, one. Who is that? Oh. Okay. Oh, this one's nice. Yeah, what's that? What <laughs> the fuck? Uh, all I'm saying is feet clearly go here. And that's where a butt would end, you know, that general oh, region. Oh, did someone have a fucking baby here? <laughs> There's no way. Holy shit. I mean, that's what you would have a baby on. Right. Yeah, but why inside of school? That, that's all pink. But how do you this know this is like... was during the school? But the building's always been a school. That's the thing. Look, it's all on the sheets. No, how stuff. do you know when the school was like open and they oh. had a baby down here? Maybe I'm someone not... else had a baby down here. Maybe, but if you look, I mean, there's pink dye here, pink dye up there. There's no way that it got all over that. So blood is not pink. That's so. that's yeah, not I, I don't know about blood. this. But this is like dark, dark. Yeah, but this seems like to be the main source. I don't know. I'm, I'm not an expert here. I'm not an expert here. You didn't think I did, did you? No. You're a fucking. I didn't idiot. get to catch that on video. Damn it! David, you have to wait until someone's on a video! Oh my god, of course. I stopped recording for one second and they fall through a stupid door. Uh, what? Okay, we coming? Get all your shit? We got a fucking pee in here. What's the souvenir? I know exactly what's the souvenir. Science class. Physics department? 
That's the door that you Oh, physical, okay. That's the door you broke! <laughs> Oh my god, <laughs> get oh, some of this dirt on you. The glass thing. <laughs> there you go. So yeah, in one of the older videos, well, a video that I watched of this place, someone was able to actually turn it on. Oh, I, I highly doubt there's bat yeah, there's no batteries in that thing anymore. But this whole thing is covered with uh, lights, light strips. Just propped open. Oh, nice. I think I can lift this up. <laughs> nope. What's this whole thing for? You mind watching this for me, Justice? Well, you need to make stupid oh, decisions. Fuck me. What? There's a lot of shit in there. Come on, it's like, um, as well so blow, you'll be fine. Oh, problem. I don't get my pants dirty. My pants are already dirty. Yes. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, this is, this looks just like Batman. Holy crap. Uh. Bro, there's this. You could climb up. Hey, you can climb up this. Look how it's shifted. Jeez, that's scary. You see that? It just goes down in there. Oh. Fuck. Uh, down this creepy tunnel. Oh, oh it's so dusty. Me. It's oh, getting in my eye. Me. Oh, man. We're inside some type. Oh, that's that's like. It's not fuck that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck that. We're coming shit. back out. We're coming We're back coming out. Back. Yes, I have seen it, and it's an awesome movie. Oh. Now the question is, how do we? Uh. Same way we got it. And it, you know, that started creaking because it was all like made out of cardboard. Oh. Super cool. Yeah, two as of those solo. Huh? Two as of those solo. I mean, we, I would have walked that whole thing, but it was like you step on it and it yeah. starts like sinking. You're like, oh, no. All right, you guys want to go this way? Where? Yeah, sure. It's the same exact route, basically. What's, what's with all these houses over here, though? No. It turns out that these houses that we are walking past are repurposed as two-story libraries that were dedicated to the school. Now, although we weren't able to go inside them, I later found out that it's actually pretty impressive in there. They have a grand fireplace and just beautiful staircases that go up onto the second floor, and of course hand carvings that are placed into the building. Once again, it's worth noting that we live in a society with modern architecture that literally consists of plain basic white walls. Oh wait, this is, this is it. It's it? How do you get in? All right, we gotta find a way in then. I'm holding up this table, it's a little, it's a little shaky. David being the last guy uh, in here, the, the car passes by, sees fucking legs hanging out of the window. It's Detroit, they, they have better things to worry about. And a bunch of little kids. Not really, but... Got them. <laughs> Somebody's driving by right now. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> No time. I'm gonna laugh. Oh! Hey, watch out. A little trip wire.
There we go. This is what I've been waiting for. Oh my god, this is gonna be a great photo. There's a second level to this. <laughs> the car was over this way, right? Yeah. Okay. There she is. Oh, and it's upward now. Did it get to me? No. <laughs> what is it? Hello. Hey, fresh shocks, man. Someone's like slowly coming here, and, like working on it. Yeah, that's like really nice. This is like pristine too. Yep. No, that's what sounds like crazy. Take the shit. What was that? Uh, oh shit, David. Yeah, be careful. Turn it. Pull it down. Pull it down. Yeah. Move out of the way, Justice. I don't want you getting knocked. Can you do it? No, you're gonna knock the whole thing off. What is it? I was say, what is it on? Oh, it's on a pinch. Can they li can it literally spin? Yeah, it's supposed to be able to spin, but I'm sure it's mechanical. Dude, you can just take off this exhaust. Yeah, it's not. Oh, those things are seen down there. It has Pontiac? a. Yeah! It's a Pontiac. It's an old Pontiac. Oh, yeah. Old wheel. I imagine two people just like busting around in the back of the whole car and just fucking cool. spins. <laughs> <laughs> it just what's on them. Yeah, all the black. That's so weird that there's like, no windshield on it. Yeah. Well, it looks like for. Because what the previous people on the videos I watched said about it was it looks like it was supposed to be a demonstration of how the mechanics worked inside the car. And it just stopped. That's why you look on like the side of the door, it's gone, but you can see all the mechanics inside. It was just, I think it was just to see how everything works to the bare bones of the vehicle. Whoa, why did you do that? What? Ugh. Is it manual? No, or, no it's automatic. I want to get, I want to get in the glove box. Well, hi. It's just the same. Does it lead to that little art area? Yeah. Oh. Guys, I found the, uh, Cosmetology school. What you say? So they found the cosmetology school. It's over here. Yeah. The, the mechanical arms in here, Ethan. There we go. Mechanical arm is over here, Ethan. This place is huge. Well, it's a college and a high school, so I mean. Oh, there's a robot arm. Yep. David!
It comes to life. <laughs> Holy shit! More cosmetology. Probably not. What the fuck? It looked more mechanical stuff. Looks like it's for the nursing school. Oh my god. David almost died. David almost died. <laughs> Why do I stop recording every single time? Oh no. I just open up the door. Mini panic attack. My heart is racing right now. Well, now we know it opens. <laughs> Get locked in. All you gotta do is just turn the handle. Yeah. It's scary though. You get locked in there. Going down. Now today's journey comes to an end. And I'm finishing with research and editing. I'm always left with afterthoughts, always. And I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm so grateful to have these opportunities. To go into these places and witness time literally frozen for a moment. And to be still and enjoy what I have. And, of course, to share it with you guys, but, I mean, I look into the history, and it's just, it's unfortunate to see Detroit, Flint, Pontiac, Highland Park, all these places that are literally just the same exact story. And they're being told over and over again in today's society. I mean, I just, like I said, everything's so fast-paced, and throughout middle school and high school, I was always taught that, you know, I need to figure out what I want to do now, you know? You gotta figure out what you're going to college for, you gotta do this and that, because, you know, the American dream is right around the corner. What's the fastest way to get to it, this and that, and, you know, that's, it's exactly what leads to the failure of these places. I mean, you know, we, we want it all, but we don't want to have to invest. And that's basically the story of Detroit. I mean, you have the big three, the car companies that actually took time to, uh, put trust and faith into their people and it might have been more costly at first but ultimately it paid off people were willing to stick around for their for their companies to work harder because they knew that they were getting good retirement that they were getting good pay and were able to take care of their families but because one wants the american dream they want to have it all the luxury and this and that but they don't want to have to pay the price for it ultimately you have these companies that go to foreign uh, areas that way they can save a few bucks and we don't have to pay high prices or taxes. And it just leads to the destruction of us. Because we didn't want to have to invest. And, you know, you look at today and, you know, I got the Russian war going on. And everyone sits there and they blame the president. You know, it's, it's Biden's fault. It's the Democrats. And if they were Republican or, you know, if Trump were in office, this would be so much better. You know, gas is almost $5. And, yeah. Now, maybe some of it's to blame on our political system, but you have to realize the fact that we are investing our time and money into companies that really, like, they just, they're looking to save us money. So they, they go out to foreign areas and uh, ultimately when war breaks out or uh, things just go south, we end up paying for the fact that we didn't invest into our own people because we wanted to have it all but not pay the price for it. And I don't know. I'm not trying to get political here, but it's just, you know, history will always repeat itself and we will always blame the people in power. But ultimately, we're the ones who put ourselves there. We will always suffer the after effects of our choices. And it's never just one person's fault. We have to take a closer look into the history, into just what it is that we did. What are you willing to invest in? 
or do you think it's going to get you years from now? Yeah, the American dream is nice, but enjoy what you have in the moment. Take time to realize what is and isn't valuable, because when you want it all, you'll get it. But ultimately, you'll have too much to take care of, and that's it. It's over. Thank you, and if you like this episode, subscribe for more content, because we definitely... I definitely want to do more of these explorations. It's always nice. So thank you, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side.